guys, what's up? This is Austin Farmer from The Bolts and my older brother, Keith Farmer from The Bolts. And we're here for Shine On Media at the Celebrity Bop It Retreat for the Teen Choice Awards. Let's go inside and see some famous celebrities and some of our friends. Hey Shine On Media, we are here with the lovely Jennifer Stone Aww, very sweet. of uh, Wizards of Waverly Place. So I see you were hitting up the Bop It earlier. How did you feel about that? It's, it's a lot of fun, but it's very, very stressful. Uh -huh. like, I, like whenever they said pass it, I was more than happy to take it, to put that stress on somebody else. It's a very stressful game. Oh, I know. And when you had to yell things, I had no clue what to yell. Yeah. Lisa from Shidon! The bulb! Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my goodness! Hello, Mary Lou! Oh. Well, I just said woo! Like, what do you yell? I don't know. Well, I, can you do magic like Selena? Do you do, you do magic I'm when they say. I'm a magical one on the show. Well, do you have any hidden talents that we don't know about then? <laughs> be hidden if I told you. I am stumped. That is an amazing answer, yeah. I must say. <laughs> right now, Jennifer Stone is trying to beat my score at Bop It, but uh, I think she's failing. If you can see, she's trying very hard. She will never match my score. Never, ever. Now, I have to bring this up. If you happen to look at the scoreboard over there, you will see that Austin and I have fairly beaten you, and no. I just figured I had to pretty much just rub it in your face, just because oh, I think it's the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> hey, it's it's fair game. It's fair game. I'm not that good at it, so beating me is not that great of a feat. Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't I don't really know what to say to that, guys. But oh. it's I know. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure with practice that you can beat all of us here. Actually. Yes, and I'm yeah. sure with practice you can beat those other two mysterious people. <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't know. Are you excited to see anybody at the Teen Choice Awards? You must be a fan of some band or anything. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. I'd love to see Paramore, that'd be really cool. Yeah, that would be awesome band. Awesome, I, nice. I, yeah. We are with the lovely Miss Brenda Song. Oh, thank you. Such a sweet introduction. Oh, well, for a sweet lady <laughs> like you, I have to. But, um. <laughs> so how does it feel to be in this marvelous room of gifts and wonders? You know, it's absolutely amazing. And just the whole well, the whole atmosphere of the Teen Choice is really fun because like, it's like a big reunion for everyone. Yeah. Everyone's always on crazy schedules. And even being here right now, like I see so many people I know that I want to run and say hi. And I actually haven't gone around yet, so I'm not really sure what to expect. It's basically like a big family reunion, as you say. It really is, like, because, I mean, everybody's always in different places, and so, like, on Sunday, I'm really excited to see a lot of people. You've been in so many movies that I've watched <laughs> throughout my whole lifetime. I'm sorry. And no, no. Wendy Wu, Homecoming yeah, Warrior. The best. The, I must say. That, was, that was sick. So You're it's really. Lying, but it's really sweet for them to say that. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. Seriously. Did you guys Google that like right now? No, dude. <laughs> I, I honestly, I, I can say, I, he can vouch for me. We watched come it on. three years ago. Thank you. Whenever it See, came out. he lied because it didn't come out three years ago, but it's okay. Yeah, that was like <laughs> the best. Okay, now who are you excited to see here at the Team Choice Awards? Um, I heard that Britney Spears is making a little, a little cameo, so I'm really, really? excited. And I don't know if that that may be a rumor. But huh. that's from where I heard. I'm really excited because, of course, who isn't a Britney fan? Well, you guys heard it first from Brenda Song. Britney Spears nice. may be performing <laughs> no. at the Teen Choice Awards. Performing? I thought she was going to be Cameo. here. Cameo. Cameo. She's going to be here. Okay. Cameo. Performing. See, he's mixing up my I'm words here. It. Okay, no, okay. That was not from her. Just forget I even said anything, guys, okay? It's just rumor. It's only rumor. We are here with the amazingly, the legendary Sean Johnson. How are you, Sean? I'm doing good. Awesome, it's great to see you here. You just won Dancing with the Stars with Mark Ballas, a man that we played a lot of shows with in his band, Ballas Huff Band. How does it feel to have gone through that whole experience? It felt amazing. It was probably the best experience ever. I mean, aside from the Olympics, of course, but I just got to have so much fun and learn so many new things, and Mark's such a great guy, and um, it was just, it was so much fun. And from an, an Olympic gymnast as yourself, how was it to make the transition over to doing ballroom dancing. Like, was it hard? It was so hard, totally different. It's like, you know, night and day, but you know, I was in heels, I wasn't on a balance beam, and I had a partner to dance with, but it was crazy. It took a lot of hard work. And we were voting for you, seriously. It was awesome, we're really happy that you won, and uh, who are you excited to see here at the Teen Choice Awards? Uh, besides you guys. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a huge fan of Twilight, so I would love to see the cast. 
Team Edward or Team Jacob? Edward. Team Edward. We got a Team Edward right here. Probably get this asked a lot. Yeah. Your editing, post-production, speeding up of the voice. What inspires you to do that? Um. Well, actually, Fred the character is just based on like my two little brothers. Like he's a way over exaggerated version of them because they're like pretty crazy because they're like around his age range because Fred's six. So they're kind of weird like him, but not not as weird, obviously, they're not as, as obnoxious or any of that. And uh, I saw that you could speed up the voice, and I thought it made it sound like so much more like six-year-old-ish. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must say, I, I I actually believed that that was your real voice. And I was like, that's so crazy. Like, how does that happen? But it makes sense now. I think it's yeah. physically impossible. But yeah, well, you, I, could, you could use helium, which but you should try work. that because it kills brain cells. When I first started speeding up the videos, everyone was like, Wow, he's probably like brain dead by now, like sucking in all that helium, but no, I didn't use helium. I don't know. You can keep making more of those videos for all of us to enjoy, but yeah. hey, thank you so much for, for coming out here. Who are you excited to see here at the Team Choice Awards? Um, uh, I'm excited to meet the little girl who played Orphan in that movie, Orphan. Oh my Orphan. gosh. You mean the 32-year-old lady, not Don't the Don't give away the twist. She apparently is a little girl, though. Yeah, I know. I'm excited to meet her. Yeah. I can't wait. I might... I, yeah, I'm not even by her in the auditorium, but I'll walk over there and meet her. Yeah, Just I would be too scared too, so you yeah. have a lot of courage in here, <laughs> I must say. We are here with Nathan from iCarly. Hello. Nathan, how does it feel to be on the other side of the camera, not filming a change from your uh, television show where you film all the time? You know, it's kind of surreal. I've never really been a part of the whole uh, experience in the gifting suite and everything. So, like, when, when, when I walk over and somebody starts pitching their stuff and I'm instantly in love with it and I want it really bad, and then you just say, all right, write down your address and we'll get it right to you. And I kind of spaz out a little bit because it's, it's like, I don't, have, you know, I don't have to pay for it. I know, you know? it's surreal. It's like a candy store, but filled with markers and, and shoes. And it's free. And... Oh. Definitely. What's, what's your most favorite thing here? The, the rock band, the I markers? Am, I am seeing the band hero. See, I was really confused about this because I saw a guitar hero on the stand, but then the game is called Band Hero. It's like all the stuff that was wrong with rock band and guitar hero, they fixed. I know. Like all the features. And, and there weren't many flaws with Guitar Hero, exactly. so it's hard. You know, it's... They fixed all the, the, all the little details where it'd be like, it'd be awesome if they did this, and they did it. I know. So I'm very, very excited about that. That's definitely my favorite thing. Awesome. Are you guys nominated for a Teen Choice Award? We are. Actually, um, the show is nominated, and Miranda Cosgrove, Jeanette McCurdy, and Jerry Trainer are also nominated. It's a pretty big group. How does it feel to be part of the whole group? You know, it's a blast. It's been such an awesome experience getting to do this. We've been working for uh, uh, over two years now. So we've been working together for a really long time. So it's been it's been a really interesting experience. It's a, it's a pretty tight unit on set, especially between the cast and the crew. Like normally you don't really think about that, but yeah, yeah. all the work, all the people who are working behind the scenes, we have such a great relationship with them too. That's so it's, it's really, really fun. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck. Debbie Ryan. Hiya from Sweet Life on Deck. So what's what's your favorite object in this room of wonders? I saw the sunglasses <laughs> yeah. before. Loving those, and I loved the boppet also. Boppet. Yes. Boppet, where did you I place on this? I got the oh, test card, but. Uh, wow. Well. It's really hard. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm loving the band hero. I'm very musical, so I love that. And it's, I mean, it's cheating. It's total it cheating, is, but, but you know, it, it counts. Oh, really? I think Debbie's beating me and Heath combined. I'm failing. That's embarrassing. You're being beaten by a girl. <laughs> I've been looking at the wrong one the whole time. I'm not even kidding. Okay. Good game, guys. 24%. Thank you, Los Angeles. Thank you, guys. I play guitar here with Jason Dolly a lot, and he's a killer guitarist, but actually, he's brilliant at drums. On guitar, really? on, on band, rock band. Can he play drums in real life? No, I don't think he can. Oh, Tricky. Hard to switch over. And I heard you're fluent in German. I am. <laughs> um, I have a awesome. saying in the family. My mom has taught me this. It's not bad to biski glimy diepel. I could no? not tell you. <laughs> then my mom has been lying to me Thank for 17 you. years you of my might, life. You might be. Um, it, it's like you know how we have like country accents. Like yeah. I have a country accent. Yeah, yeah. People have a northern. So it sounds different, depends on the region. Aww. She could be from a different region. Well, my mom does not speak fluent German, I will tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, for joining us. I'm Austin Farmer. And I'm Heath Farmer. We are from The Bolts, and we had many fun adventures in the Celebrity Bop It Retreat at the Teen Choice Awards. We got to interview some of your favorite celebrities, some of our friends, and beat Debbie Ryan at Band Hero. For more videos, go to shineonmedia.com. Or for more about us, The Bolts, go to myspace.com slash The Bolts. But we got a show to play tonight, so 
We got to split from this place and get ready. We'll see you guys. Thank you so much. We I got to go return these girl pants at Hot Topic.